Oh, welcome all, welcome back at I need help and C squared in this example you need to sketch the graph of this rational function. The first thing I notice is that uh, the denominator and the numerator can be factored out. And I'm going to do that and I'm going to start with this denominator. Uh, x squared minus 4 is a difference of square, so that should tell me x minus 2 times x plus 2. Now, for the numerator, uh, I'm going to look to something of x minus 2 times what? And that will be 2x. Um, so that will be 2x squared minus 4x. 2x minus 1. This is the factor formula of the numerator. Um, so if you notice now, these two guys cancel out. So the simplest form for this rational function is 2x minus 1 over x plus 2. And very important to do this step in this problem. Now we can move to the domain. And for the domain, you're going to have to take the denominator of your original form. Uh, so, and take the factor form since you already have it. And make it equals to 0. And here we're going to have x minus 2 equals 0. That will give us x equals 2. And x plus 2 equals 0. That will give us x equals negative 2. So, um, the domain of this uh, rational function is any real number but 2. So now we can move to part B, vertical asymptotes. And I'm going to say something else here. And holes. Because we have a hole here. Right? Well, let's, let's take a look. The vertical asymptote is given by this x plus 2 equals 0. That is the reduced form of our original problem. So it's going to stay there. And it's going to give us this vertical asymptote. But because this x equals 2 was cancelled out right here when we simplify, that will be a whole. x equals 2 is a whole. The function is not defined, but it doesn't go asymptotically. Okay, and usual what I do, I do f of 2. And I plug it here, so I have 2 times 2 minus 1, that is 4 minus 1, that is 3. And 2 plus 2, that is 4. So f of 2 for this reduced form is 3 fourths. So I'm going to go somewhere here, uh, 3 fourths, and I'm going to do something like that. A whole, that will be a whole. I had 2 and 3 fourths. And now I can move to uh, horizontal asymptotes. So horizontal asymptotes, we need to take a look to the degree of the numerator and the denominator. The degree of the numerator is 2, the denominator is 2, the same degree. So we have a horizontal asymptote, which is the quotient of the leading coefficient, 2 over 1, which is nothing else than 2. So add 2, at y equals 2, let me be more precise. I'm going to draw this horizontal line, which is the horizontal asymptotes. So we finish with asymptotes, we can move to the next thing, which is the intercepts. And I'm going to have um, what is called a y-intercept. So point the intercept, y-intercept that happened when x is 0. So f of 0, for our original function, we're gonna, if you're going to plug 0 here, we're going to get Never positive 2 over negative 4, and that will be negative 1 half, so that will be 0 and negative 1 half. Uh, that will be the y intercept, which is going to be somewhere here. Now we can move to 
the x intercepts uh, x intercepts means y equals zero so zero equals to x square minus 5x plus 2 over x square minus 4. So we're gonna when is this quotient equals to 0? When the numerator 2x square minus 5x plus 2 equals 0. And don't forget we have the factor form right here. We did it, so we have 2x minus 1 times x minus 2 equals 0. So we get two zeros, x equals 2, which is not good, right? That is the hull. And we have 2x minus 1 equals 0. That will give us x equals 1 half. When x is 1 half, the y is zero. So this is going to be this point. So basically now I, I do have enough information for this side. This side is going to be something like this. Okay. I need to look how the right side is going to look. The left side, I'm sorry, this side. So I'm going to go with a number less than negative two, like negative three. And I'm wondering if it's more than more than two or less than two that tells me is on top or on the bottom of the uh, horizontal asymptote so i'm going to do f of negative three and i'm going to have two times negative three square minus five times negative three plus two over uh, negative three square minus 4. If you evaluate this expression in a calculator, you'll notice it's going to be a number more than than uh, more than 2. So, which means it's going to be somewhere here. Which going to means the graph should go something like this. Okay, and that's his, this is the graph of uh, the uh, rational function. We can see a better graph here. Uh, and that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.